Hi everybody, welcome back to the Drunken Bull Ranch. Can you say welcome to the Drunken Bull Ranch? Welcome to the Ranch. So, today, I'm uh, sitting on the LS tractor out here. And uh, Zoe jo joined me, so did Susie. But, uh, uh, first thing is, we hit over 200 subscribers. So I wanted to say thank you to all the subscribers for subscribing and watching the video, videos and uh, the comments and the likes and all that. Anyway, um, yeah, I just wanted to say cloudy. thank you. What? It's a little bit cloudy, Daddy. Yeah, it's a little bit cloudy. Okay, so I wanted to cover a couple of things on the LS tractor. So give me just a second. We'll put Zoe's booth back on because they fell off, and uh, I'll show you a couple of things. Okay, while Zoe and Susie are off playing, I'm going to show you a couple of things. And uh, actually, I got a little bit of a commentary for you. Hang on. Okay, so first thing is that uh, I had some family in town and uh, so I haven't done any videos for a little while but I actually got a chance to read some of the comments and I did one of those huh that's kind of interesting so uh, the comments have made me think about it and I think I need to slow down and explain a few things better to people so that they understand some of the reasons why I do the things that I do anyway but I will do better and uh, hopefully you guys will enjoy the videos. So a uh, couple of things. On the LS tractor we are sitting, well real quick, it's uh, XR 4150 with the uh, 4104 loader on it. For those of you who aren't familiar with it. Um, now as I said in a previous video the uh, wheel hub right down inside of here let me move this camera hopefully you can see it right right down no oh, my hands on the way right down here uh we lost a bearing and uh i'm going to say that ls ponied up and said no nope, that's under warranty and they sent me a new one um now they did not cover, hold on, this camera is giving me fits. Sorry about that, I was having issues with the tripod. So, uh, yeah, LS actually covered the wheel bearing under warranty, uh, so I got that for nothing. I did have to install it. Um, the boys down at Hobby Tractor, Scott and Lance, uh, took care of me on that. They got the part and I got it installed and the tractor is back up and running now on the bucket uh, in a previous video I said that uh, it was slightly tipped to the left hand side and The ram seemed to be having some issues. I took the ram off took it down They rebuilt it now on the bucket attachment there is a one year warranty through LS. So if you screw it up after that, it's on you. Uh, I'm going to say that I screwed it up. They rebuilt the ram, I'll show you. You can see that this is a new part here. I'm going to say they had a heck of a time getting it apart, but got it rebuilt. And uh, assuming that this camera stands up. Anyway, um, so yeah, they took care of me on that. Uh, like I said, Scott and Lance, uh, Spencer down at Hobby Tractor took care of me on that. Um, it was a relatively inexpensive repair. Uh, but what I found after I got it back on the tractor and realized that it had straightened out somewhat, then I started looking even closer because I thought it was just a ram, but it's not. So, let me show you this. I've got a level attached 
to the uh, bucket arm here. Let me reverse this camera. Okay, so if you look right there at that level, you can see right here that there is a fold in that metal. Now, I'm going to say that this does not surprise me. Um, with the work that I've been putting this tractor through, honestly, I'm kind of surprised it lasted as long as it did. Uh, not, not that it doesn't work. It, it works. It goes up, down, dumps, all that. But, as I said, the bucket tips to the left just a little bit. Now... I don't think this is the fault of the manufacturer. I don't think it's the fault of the dealer. I don't think it's anybody's fault other than mine. Because I know the work that I've been doing with this. I've been moving rocks. I've been banging into rocks. I've been clearing fields. I mean, I've really put this thing through the ropes. And I'm going to say that I've had a lot of friends and people say why would you buy an ls tractor and i'm gonna say because a green one an orange one a red one whatever color it may be was more expensive than this tractor when i bought it and for what i paid for this machine i have no complaints it has been a great machine and it continues to be a great machine now, uh, someone asked me what I actually paid for it. Uh, when I bought it, I paid 32000 for it. It was uh, it's a 2017. We bought it in 2018. Or no, I'm sorry. January of 2019. So uh, the dealer that I bought it from in Morgan, Utah, basically just wanted it off their lot. So, I got a pretty screaming deal. Anyway, uh, getting back to the bucket attachment. If any of you have any great suggestions or any amazing knowledge on how to straighten that out, please put it in the comments because I would kind of like to know. At this point, I'm thinking it is what it is and I will just continue to use it and uh, deal with the fact that it's not quite level. It's about... a three quarters of an inch out of whack but as I said I, I, I should have expected it because of what I've been doing and like I said I've hit a lot of rocks and I have hit them hard sometimes you don't even realize they're there when you hit them anyhow so yeah just wanted to give you guys an update on the tractor like I said it's at about 850 hours uh, I have had some issues with it, but for what I'm doing, I kind of expect some of those issues. So, there you go. Have a wonderful day. Support your local farmers, and I will continue to do these videos regardless of the comments and uh, whatnot is going on. <laughs> and Y'all have a good weekend. Talk to you later.